We're here in Rockefeller Center at Democracy Plaza, which, as everyone knows, is the actual birthplace of democracy. That's right. Here in 1776, the Continental Congress met to sign the Declaration of Independence. Much later, the Gettysburg Address was delivered right here in New York. And Pearl Harbor started on the ice skating rink. No one wants to hear about democracy, but today we're going to serve as your tour guides as we make democracy fun. Here we have encased in glass an actual ballot from the last presidential election in Florida. Which helped to disenfranchise elderly and black people in one fell swoop. Amazing! Woo! Woo! Democracy Express! Here's our next stop in Democracy Plaza. It's a recreation of the Oval Office. Now visitors can come here and reenact their favorite moments from presidential history. Mr. President, they just bombed Pearl Harbor. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the president. Let's get them. We just found missiles in Cuba. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the president of the United States. Let's get them. They just caught that girl from growing pains in a drunk driving accident. Not on my watch. I'm the president, damn it. Let's get them. This is where it all took place. It all came down to the hanging chads and 537 votes here in Nebraska. That's almost a thousand. As we all know, New York State broke off from the continental United States after the movie, The, the Day, Day After, after tomorrow. tomorrow. You all saw that. And this is the most crucial state in the entire union because wherever they vote, so goes the country. Forget about it. Mr. President, the Civil War is over. We won. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the President of the United States. Let's get him. Yeah, you got Air Force One. What's that? We just dropped the first bomb on Nagasaki? I just dropped the second bomb in the crapper. <laughs> High five. Oh, it didn't wash. Hey, ladies, what's up? You ever uh, pull a lever? <laughs> Yeah! Democracy! Mr. President, they just freed Nelson Mandela. I'll call you back. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the President of the United States of America. Let's get him. Jonas Salk just cured polio. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the President of the United States. Let's get him. Here we are in the Voting in America booth, where you can write a letter to the future president. And we took that job very seriously. As we all know, bigger penis equals better president. Anyway, yeah, this is my normal, this is my weekday gig. Lincoln was assassinated. Not on my watch, damn it. I'm the president of the United States. Let's get them. The next stop in Democracy Plaza is the Larry Flint Hustler Club, where you can take a hands-on approach to learning about democracy. So what, what are you voting for, anyway? I don't know, but we're registered Republicans. Yeah, we were going to vote know. for Bush. Really? No. no. But I mean, he has some good issues. Like, I mean, he's pro-life, and that's about like saving kids and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, but what about women's rights? Have a uh, women's choice to. Yeah, Paul. What about body? women's rights? No. Okay. Well, yeah. you were you were totally pro-life like a minute ago. Dude. But I flip flop. I flip flop. Uh, do, what do you guys think about stem cell research? Oh, yes, it's really important. important. It is, right? Well, yeah. you know what? It's progress. I mean, it'll it's save progress, so many lives. It's progress, Paul. Progress. I do work out. I work out a lot. I mean, we totally believe in private. Social I don't think no, I don't think it. No, it's yeah. a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Though. Your dress fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Family is whoever is important exactly. to you, right? Exactly. What's standing in the way of democracy, Paul? Let's just have fun. Okay, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. That's my nipple. I feel like my mind is changing. My mind is so changing right now. You get it right. Whatever you guys want to vote for. You guys are Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. You guys are so awesome. Well, John, we started off our little tour of democracy thinking that it was boring. But it's all about freedom and democracy. And a nice ass. We know who we're voting for. Woo! Party! Take off your top!